Hey, what's up, guys? A quick update. So Jackie Bradley Jr. and the Milwaukee Brewers have agreed to join forces on a two-year, $24 million deal. Um, $12 million per. You know, there's a lot of uh, assumptions, you know, for quite a while now that he was going to get a lot more. But the market has kind of bared itself, <clears throat> and I think most of the guys who are going to get, actually, you know, seriously paid obviously did. It still remains to be seen what Jake Gordon Rizzi is going to get. I think he and, he's, and he, I think he's made it clear that he's going to hold out for, you know, what he wants, which is a you know multiple maybe a three year deal for thirteen to fifteen million per year. I don't know who's going to give it to him, but he seems to be a perfect fit in my opinion for the Houston Astros to add to that rotation. <clears throat> but um, we'll see. The indie pitching Verland is out for the year with Tommy John surgery. Zach Greinke's on a steep decline now. And he would be a good guy to go in there, just give him a consistent start on a regular basis. I'm going to give him innings. And, uh, you know, he would be a perfect fit, in my opinion, for the Astros. Let's see if they're actually going to, you know, pony up the money for him. But this is, I think this is pretty significant with the Brewers. I mean, they've slowly made, and quietly made some moves. They brought in Colton Wong. And in my opinion now, <clears throat> they've surpassed the Cubs as the second best team in the National League Central behind the St. Louis Cardinals, in my opinion. Uh, with the moves that the Cardinals have made, particularly with Nolan Arenado, I think they're the the front runners. The Cubs have made some moves too, but they're also minus Kyle Schwarber and John Lester and a couple other guys too. So I think they'll still be competitive, but I think the Brewers have now you know, quietly solidified themselves as the potential wild card team coming out of the Central. I mean, they're also going to have an elite goal glove outfield. Now, to my understanding, I think Lorenzo Cain is now going to move to left field. Oh, no, excuse me, right field. Bradley's going to take center, and Christian Yellick is going to take left field. That is a young, dynamic, absolute, elite, defensively, gold glove outfield. <clears throat> and um, that's as good as it gets, in my opinion. I mean, that's, <laughs> you know, and it also takes him out of the American League East. He was a pain in the butt for the Yankees for quite a while, so I'm happy to see that. I'm also happy to see him get an opportunity to be as, be a part of an elite outfield. And, uh, and again, I think the Brewers have quietly made some moves with the pitching that they did not trade away, and that ridiculous you know, the bullpen duo that they have, adding the pieces that they've done, which they've boosted the lineup, they've quietly gotten significantly better. So I give them a lot of credit for that. But I just wanted to share the major update for the day. Jackie Bradley Jr., two-year deal, $24 million, Milwaukee Brewers. It's a good move, guys. A really, really good move. So hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. If you like good baseball content, this is the place for you. Um, and for those that don't know, my channel used to be called Die Hard Yankee Fan 447. It is now 161 River Avenue, which is the address of the original Yankee Stadium. So I wanted to keep it significant to the Yankees in a certain way, but still talk about baseball across the board. So hope you enjoy it. Hope you come back for some more. Have a great day. Talk to you next time.